I should invest in a wireless microphone. Welcome guys to a new episode and this time we are comparing the Sony's FE 35mm f1.8 with the Sony 28mm f2. Now I'm not an expert when it comes to lenses but I do know a little bit about video and this is not my main channel. I've got a main channel and it's got 160,000 subscribers so I do know a little bit about video and filmmaking so today I'll be talking mainly about video so at the moment I'm filming using the Sony FE 35mm f1.8 and this is what is filming me right now and I'm using the Sony a7C and I'm using 30fps 4k and uh, this is the image quality that comes from straight from the lens there is no editing zero compensation there is no other i'm using the aperture priority i'm using the f1.8 so i'm i had it wide open now if you remember the previous video when i was filming with the 35 millimeter f1.8 now i've switched to the 28 millimeter f2 and i don't know if you've noticed a little bit it's a little bit wider than the 35 millimeter as you would expect for those who are using micro four thirds system then obviously you need to half that so this is equivalent to a 14 millimeter i don't know f3.5 f4 now let's do a little bit of a bokeh test i'm gonna come a little bit closer to the camera and we're gonna look at this image right here and see is there any image separation how does it look from the back and i'm just gonna turn this thing on can i turn it on i don't think i can so let's say you're vlogging on youtube for example and you've got a bit of a background behind you <clears throat> this is how it's gonna look like obviously i don't know i'm looking at the lcd screen and there isn't much going on even though it is on f2 but there is nothing much going on there it's just everything is in focus let me come a little bit closer and see if that helps a little bit yeah it does help a little bit so you have to really be close to the camera i mean i'm nearly touching the lens now it's almost like half an arm's length and this is what it looks like now i'm gonna switch to the 35 millimeter f1.8 and see if that makes any difference now i've moved to the 35 millimeter f1.8 and you can immediately see it's a little bit more blurry in the background and a little bit more pleasant if you like to separate yourself from whatever is going on behind you i have a feeling that i'm too close now to the camera to the point that it's a little bit uncomfortable for you guys so i'm gonna move a little bit back and see if that makes any difference <clears throat> so i think this is a little bit better but the only problem is if you're trying to vlog with the camera in this 35 millimeter might just be a little bit too narrow or too uh, zoomed in so this is where this 28 millimeter lens shines it's it's made it's made for vlogging and in these situations where you really need to have this wider frame so what i'm going to do now is do a little bit of a vlogging test and i'm going to start with this 35 f1.8 i'm going to do a vlog test and then i'm going to switch to the 28 millimeter and see the comparison <laughs> hello guys this is me uh, vlogging with the uh, a7C and the 35mm f1.8 and I don't know if you like this look but I feel it's a little bit too close for my liking I feel like half my forehead is gone and second of all there is so much detail I'm taking half the frame and everything behind me is very blurry so even if you're trying to show an area let's say you're visiting a museum or something and you want to show people they won't they won't be able to see what's behind you because you are Susan Suzu so 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 zoom so zoomed in that they won't be able to see what's behind so what we need to do is flip onto our little mini tiny lens from sony 28 millimeter f2 and let's see if that makes any difference here is another test again as you can see there is nothing much to show here because i am taking all the frame and there is nothing that can be seen behind me now would you would you know what that is would you know what this thing is? You wouldn't. So if you want this look, this is what you can get with the 35mm f1.8. Now let's switch quickly. So here we are again. It's a little bit darker. I've noticed that the, the image is going a little bit darker, just about. But we've got a little bit more visibility at the back here. So you can see a little bit more. I don't remember, uh, I don't know if you remember this, but it was a little bit more blurry. And now we can see just a tiny bit more. Now we can actually make out a few things. But frame wise i think it's a little bit better because my head now is visible you can see a little bit more from the background so i think this is a very nice vlogging camera i can happily go and vlog like this and if i ever want to show what's behind i can just move a little bit backward wait for the camera to focus 
and come again into the frame. Move a little bit backward. Let it focus. Is it focusing? And then boom. So for a bit of video quality, here's uh, my garden, as you can see, it does okay, there is no sun at the moment so I cannot show you how it will react with the sun, but this is the normal British typical weather, it's quite wide but it's not very wide, it's not the ultra wide stuff, it's just normal. Now let's have a look at the focus test. Hop. Hop. Very fast. Very fast. I feel like this is perfect. It's very snappy. It holds onto place. It focuses very smoothly. There is no jittery. It's very nice. I really am in love with that. Boom. Here you go. Nice test, I think. <clears throat> this is the exact same video test with the 35 millimeter now and uh, you can see that it's a little bit tighter and it's a little bit more zoomed in actually it's taking longer to focus i feel yep definitely it's lost focus altogether yep it's back now but i feel like this is a little bit more pleasant i have a feeling the other one is a little bit more wide so this is just my opinion here's the test again it's having problem focusing this lens so let's go back to the building, back to the little door hinge, building, door. I feel it's a little bit slower to be honest than the other one. Perhaps it's because it's got a little bit more travel. And also it is struggling to focus. There's a lot of breathing here and it never actually nails the focus 100%. What is going on here? Is it not able to spot it? So yeah, definitely the 28 is doing a much better job, even though this one is doing a really good job. Maybe I'm too close to it, I'm going to move back a little bit. Maybe now it's going to do a little bit better. Oh yeah, I think I was too close to the doorknob. Oh. Yep, that's better. I think I was too close, the, distant, the focal distance was a bit too much for this lens. So now I'm back and filming with a 28mm f2 and I think if you're going to shoot a little bit of portraits, a little bit of landscape, so you're mix, mix and matching, then you're probably going to be better off with this 35mm f1.8. It's going to give you a little bit more pleasant bokeh and also it's still wide enough to be able to shoot landscape. But if you are going to shoot mainly landscape and a bit of vlogging as well, then I highly recommend 28mm from Sony. It's going to be a really good catch really it's a very nice lens and for the price it's amazing obviously it's at the very low spectrum of the sony lenses but it still delivers very good images very sharp and i think it's a very good buy if you if you want my opinion i would keep both i would buy both they're so small you can fit them all in one small bag they won't gonna take any space and there's no even noticeable weight these two lenses together, the 35mm f1.8 and the 28mm f2, together they can be less than one of those really highly priced GM, G Master lenses. So these two together are probably less in weight and size than one of those really big GM lenses. So it's up to you when you make this decision. I'm going to keep the 28mm f2 and I'm going to use it for vlogging, I'm going to use it for nature photography. And I can still use it for, for like photographs, photographing people, but it's not going to be my main primary portrait lens what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy a 85 millimeter f1.8 from sony and i'm going to keep that as my main portrait lens or even the 50 millimeter which is selling so cheap now it's about 150 pounds british pounds you can buy the 50 millimeter f1.8 or the 85 millimeter f1.8 have those for portraits and keep this 28 millimeter for your normal everyday walkabout or even street photography you can do anything with it this 28 millimeter has in my opinion made the 35 millimeter a little bit obsolete to be honest because i find this to be a bit more versatile 
even though it does have a higher f point it's an f2 compared to the f1.8 but in my opinion you can still use this for vlogging landscape street photography travel lens everyday lens the other one the 35 millimeter it is a little bit more crispy a little bit better with the bokeh a little bit better image separation but still you cannot use it for vlogging and if if you are going to use it for portraits still it's not the best lens for portraits so this 28 made this 35 a bit of an obsolete lens this is my opinion i hope you like this video if you do like it please let me know in the comments what you think and what else would you like me to record for you what i'm gonna do now is my next step is to obviously buy the 85 millimeter f1.8 it's not bad and if i can afford it one day i hope we'll be able to jump up a little bit into the g lenses g master lenses and anything else that sony does provide and i can afford <laughs> so please like this video share it do whatever you like to it so i can benefit from that and i can update my gear and upgrade them and hopefully one day i'll be able to afford the sony a1 who knows maybe one day you never know thank you very much guys and I'll see you in the next episode peace